So I've never done a dedicated brush video before and I think that your the tools that you use to apply your makeup on your face are so important. I think, this is my honest opinion, you can have the best makeup in the world and if you don't have the proper tools to apply it, it just is not going to look as good. So if you're curious to see what my favorite brushes are, let's get into the video. So I first want to start off by saying this is not being sponsored at all. They don't even know I'm making this. I just love supporting a fellow content creator. Uh, her name is Lisa J. And she started a, a few years ago, she started her own uh, brand. And it first started with uh, doing makeup brushes and it has expanded into a whole bunch of other things. Eyeshadow palettes, uh, lipsticks, uh, false eyelashes, just to name a few things. I thought it would be perfect to coordinate now between they're having a Mother's Day sale and also showing you what are my favorite BK Beauty brushes. Now, this isn't a shock to anybody that's watched my channel before. I, I pretty much have the one, one or two or three or four brushes in one of my videos all the time. They are outstanding quality, my absolute favorite brushes to use. And I just love supporting uh, like another a businesswoman. I think she has just done a phenomenal job in creating this business. If you don't know Lisa Jace, she used to work for MAC Cosmetics. And I also love just what she stands for in on her channel, in her brand. I will link Lisa's channel down below and I will also link the BK Beauty website down below. If you do live in Canada, uh, if you go onto the website, it does, at least on my, when I go on my computer, it automatically adjusts to the Canadian price. So it is showing you a Canadian price and not the US uh, price. So a little bit about the sale before we get into the brushes. So they have a sale running from Tuesday, May 9th, right through to Sunday, May 14th, which is Mother's Day. And I'm hoping, uh, uh, fingers crossed, I can hope Hopefully get this out with it over the next a few days. I might not be able to get it done exactly on launch day, but I'm going to really, really try hard guys. <laughs> I've got a lot of stuff going on right now. So what the sale is, is you will uh, receive 20% off and that is site wide. And the discount is automatically applied at the checkout. I am not like, like I said, this isn't sponsored. I'm not getting any commission, nothing like that. The discount is open to all of the customers. So we're going to get into the brushes now. Uh, one thing that if you if you head over to the website, what you'll one thing that you'll notice is how many reviews they receive, and I'm talking like four five star reviews, and these are all verified buyers for the for the products. So I think that is just outstanding. They are also 100% cruelty free. Uh, they are vegan fiber. Uh, their brushes have less breakage than other brands. They just have a a lux like a really luxurious feel to them. Like they just feel like such amazing quality. And honestly, I think the product, like when I'm putting makeup products on, I think makeup products apply way, way better. There's no streaking with some of these brushes uh, compared to some of the other brushes that I have. Some, maybe sometimes a little bit cheaper version of a, of a brush, but these are just superb. So let's first start off with, this is my, one of my favorite brushes of all time. I have had it on my channel so many times. <laughs> And this is one of her, I think this is like one of her mo most like popular sellers. It is the BK Beauty, it is the 101 uh, Contoured Foundation Brush. So you can see here how it has a nice a contour to it. Super soft. You can use uh, like liquid or cream foundation products with this brush. It doesn't leave any streaks. Uh, I usually just will put the product on and then I'll kind of pat it in. It is such a nice dense brush and I like the the width of it. It really does cover like your whole face as you're as you're putting it on. And one of the things I do find because it does have that kind of density to it is it's not soaking up the product. Like some brushes the product especially like foundations and stuff will almost seep into the into the bristles whereas this one doesn't do that at all. And I think it just really gives my my makeup it just gives it a nice finish. Now one of her newer brushes that she came out with this is the 109 mini contoured brush. So it's like if this the 101 had a little baby and then <laughs> so they made a little one. What I love so sorry this one is a little bit dirty. I did use this one on my face today. This is why this one's a little bit dirty. But you can see it is a little mini version. But what I appreciate about this one is because I do have a bit of a smaller face. So as I am sometimes applying products, 
I just want a little bit of a smaller brush to apply those products and this one does the job. But with it being so small, you can also uh, blend out your bronzer, your contour, highlighter. Again, doesn't have, uh, because it's a smaller version, it has a little bit of that density to it, but not as much as the 101 does. But I think this was probably one of the better uh, brushes that she replicated. It comes in a, a set as well. It's called the Coraline Extension. What they did is they took some of their best sellers and they made like a little mini version of them. But I love, absolutely love, love, love this little brush here. Now, she also created a another foundation brush. So this is the 106 and it is just called the like the round foundation brush. You can see it's a little bit more uh, different than the other foundation brush. Again, it has that bit of density to it. Uh, but this one I really enjoy using for more of like a liquidy kind of foundation. I find this one I can really kind of stipple the product on and not just foundation. I use this one for, I, I, I've used it in my videos before actually for putting on like cream blush uh, or a bronzer, like liquid bronzer, liquid highlighter. You can also use it to put up like blend in your concealer underneath. I'll show you the actual brush that I use for my concealer. I've used that a lot of times too. You can multitask a little bit better with this foundation brush and use it for different ways. Now these next two brushes I'm going to do together just because they are a very similar brush, but they are for two different purposes. So I have the 103. This is a bronzer brush. And then I also have a 107 and that is for a blush. See how they look very, very similar. Uh, but this one is great for the bronzer because when I put bronzer on, I want to diffuse that that shade, that color on my on my skin, a little bit of a wider path, <laughs> I guess you could call it. So I, I love this one for that. It, there's never any streaking and it blends it in just flawlessly. Like this, the bristles are so incredibly soft. Oh my goodness, like this is such a soft brush. It's amazing actually. I, I'm not sure how, how she does it, but it's just impeccable. This one, is more direct, like I like the smallness of it for blush placement. So I use this one, I can uh, just apply the blush where I need it because I don't want that wide swath like I do my bronzer. And this does the job, it goes right back, I put it right back into my hairline. Again, super soft, just, they, they just feel luxurious. Like I love these brushes, they are incredible. Now this next brush is my go-to if I am doing basically uh, like a one eye color and I'm just like one of those, you know, flying out the door kind of quickly, just want to put one shade on. This is the 201. This is just like a fluffy round uh, blender brush. I love the rounded, like the rounded part on the top here. It's wide enough, like for my eyes are, you know, kind of on the smaller side. So I can just run whatever color I want and it, it does the job like there's no streaking at all blends in all the brushes just pick up the color so well whatever product you're using whether it's a bronzer or eyeshadow they just pick up that that uh, product whatever it is and just blend it onto your face and it you it looks just flawless so this one does a great job of just like one of those running it through your going from like your lid right up into your brow bone and this one i use a lot for uh, if i've I put like two or three shades on my eyes and then I use this one to just kind of make sure everything, all the colors diffused on the eye. So that, that, this is a great one for that. The next one that I use a lot is the 212. And this is just like a, a medium a blender brush. But again, it has that nice soft tip on the top here. This one is a little bit more, I find not as like not as good going to use it as my fluffy eye brush this one i use more if i'm putting color right kind of in my crease area and blending it out this one does a nice job of that it's one of those uh, like just a, like a little bit of a smaller brush i would say it's more of like a one size fits all kind of brush so really really enjoy this one now this brush i have had on my channel too many times to count <laughs> It is the 204. This is the smudge it brush. Now you can see how dense that is right on the top here. This one is absolutely perfect for, you know how many times I use my eyeshadow and run that underneath my lower lash line. 
I use eyeshadow all the time. This is the perfect brush for that. And what I do is I just grab the color. It, it like it's so because it's so dense, it picks up the color so well, and just run it right on my, under my lower lash line. Just kind of gives it like a smoky kind of look. It blends it out. Uh, you can. This is great also if you do use eyeliner, just and you want it to, to soften it up. Yeah, maybe it looks a little bit too harsh. Just putting it right, running it all on that uh, lower lash line, and just really softens it up. So this one is right at the top of my list if you're looking for a great, if you're somebody that does that, uses your, uses your eyeshadow as your eyeliner, highly recommend this one. Now this next brush is newer to her collection and this is the 210. This is like a mini pencil brush. This one is great for those areas that you want more of a detail. Pretty that is, that's just gorgeous. So I use this one as well, so I'll, if I, maybe can't find my smudge it brush, I'll use this one. Can run it under your lower lash line. This is gonna give it a little bit more of a softer look. And then I also like this for detailing. So one of the things that I like to do is right in the corner, you know how I, I sometimes put like darker shades and stuff like that in my uh, corner. This one is great for that little detail work, placing it on the outer portion there. I've also used this one to apply cream a shadow. This is great for uh, just using that little bit of cream shadow and running it all over your lid because it has a little bit of firmness because with a cream shadow you just you need that little bit of firmness. Sometimes using one of these fluffier brushes won't pick up the cream shadow because it's uh, the cream shadow is uh, quite dense. So something like this that you have a little bit more control over and applying it that way. And this is part of uh, that core collection that I was telling you about. This next brush I use a lot to help with any wing liner that I do or to soften my eyeliner. This is the uh, 208. This is like a little angle brush. Very, very tiny. Uh, but what I like about this one is even though it's very tiny, it's soft but it has a little bit of firmness to it. So when you are, I use this for my eyeliner. So after I've put my eyeliner on, my pencil, usually my pencil eyeliner, and I just wanna soften it up because it looks a little bit, it can look a little bit harsh sometimes. And I just soft, I just run this along the eyeliner and it just kind of diffuses that, that harshness. I've taken this and I've used this under my eye before. And I've also used it as to help my, like doing a wing. When I'm working with like a, a like a, a pencil, like a gel pencil. I'll put the, the color usually just to the edge of my eye and then I'll use this one to help kind of create that wing. And it really does help with that, especially if I'm using like a dark eyeshadow. I'll take that dark eyeshadow and just, it because it's so forgiving uh, compared to using like a liquid eyeliner or even sometimes pencils. If they set too fast, you, it, you have to like really work fast with them. Whereas when you use like a dark eyeshadow, you have lots of time to work with it. And that's what this little pen, uh, this little brush does. It just kind of gives you that time to kind of, you know, you can just kind of wing it out. But this is so precise and it's just incredible. Love this little brush. Now, a while ago, a BK Beauty collaborated with Angie from Hot and Flashy. If you're not familiar with her channel, I'll stick her channel down below. And Angie created her own brush set. And they are sold individually now. So if you only want one brush, you can just get one brush if you want. So the, there's three brushes that I absolutely love out of that collection. And I, again, have had them on my channel lots of times. Now, what I loved most is that because it's it was created by Angie, it is the brush uh, that she's created are specifically designed for mature skin. So I really appreciated that part of it. So this is one of my absolute favorites from the whole collection. And this is the A506. This is the concealer brush. Basically they did is they took this little concealer brush. You can see it almost looks like the two other versions of the foundation brushes. And they made a mini version for concealer. This is one of the best concealer brushes I've ever used. I love how it is so perfect for under the eye, right in here. You can just tap it in, put in all your concealer. Uh, you can use it for contouring as well. And basically what they were calling it is a kitten paw, which I thought was really cute. Uh, the bristles are super soft. Like I think these ones are even softer than some of the other uh, brushes. And I know for a short time, uh, this brush was sold out all the time. I 
know there's a, quite a few people that actually have this brush and absolutely rave about it. And I'm not talking about like just content creators. Like I, I've had many of my viewers mention to me that they have this concealer brush and just absolutely love it. This is definitely an asset to anybody's uh, makeup brush collection. The next one is the A504. This is the Angie Hot and Flashy. This is a little detailer brush. What I love about this one is it has a bit of a smaller type of head, very soft. It gets right into uh, this outer part of the, like it's a detailer brush. To, to go along with that other pencil type of brush, this one just gives a little bit more control over the color and will diffuse the color a little bit more on the eyeshadow. Perfect for either the outer part of your eye or just in your crease area. If you wanted uh, just to add a little bit of a darker color in your crease area, this is the detailer brush for you. And the next one is the A507. This is just an angled blush brush, but it's very precise and it's perfect for us ladies, um, mature skin ladies, because it really does take the guesswork out of where you're putting your blush. So usually your blush should be going kind of in this area here. And this one doesn't give you any mistakes. Whereas this one here, if you're not familiar with how to put blush on, this one might put a little bit more blush than you're looking for. I love this one just because it has that, that angled head and it's very precise. It's showing you exactly where you should be putting the blush. The softness of the, the brushes, again, super soft and the, it just blends in. You can use this for powders and creams as well. It doesn't specifically have to be powders. So that is my little collection of favorite brushes from BK Beauty. I love all of their brushes, but these ones are the ones that I gravitate to on a daily basis. I have pretty much all of their brushes. And each one does a different thing, different eyeshadow brushes, different face brushes. There's powder brushes. There's brushes that I have that I use for highlighter, uh, but I wanted to kind of keep this uh, video, you know, within a certain time frame. So these are my absolute go-to favorite brushes from BK Beauty. Like I said, they're having a Mother's Day sale. I will link that down below as well as uh, it's 20% off and you get that right at the checkout. So if you make your purchase and you go to checkout, the 20% will automatically come off. And if you have any doubt about any of these brushes, I highly suggest going to the website, looking at all the reviews from, if you're looking for a particular brush, they have uh, all the reviews of that brush from just, and like I said to you before, they're all verified buyers. These are all people that just absolutely love their brushes. And I believe if I'm not mistaken, I thought they were also featured, did a, a like on Vogue magazine or something. They were also had like a feature. I think also Tati has had them on her channel. I'm not sure if I think pretty much a lot of people are familiar with Tati, uh, but she's had them on her channel as well and absolutely loves them. So if you've been sitting on the fence about them, I, I suggest heading over, grabbing them on the, the Mother's Day sale. Treat yourself. If you stuck around this long, thank you so much. I hope you consider subscribing to my channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell that's right beside the subscribe button. That way you're notified whenever I upload new videos. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. That also helps my channel out a lot and also lets the algorithm know that you like this content. I will have all the brushes that I talked about today. I will have them all linked down below for you guys. And as always, I hope everybody has a great week and a great life and I'll see you all very soon in my next video. Bye.